Whenever I do a video conference call, Skype call, or live stream, one of the most common questions I get is what are you using in order to monitor your audio? Back in the day, in my many years of radio or television production, normally what you would see is someone wearing a set of cans. These, the over the ear, over the head headphones. After a long day, they become a little bit uncomfortable, they're just not as fashionable and they don't look good on camera well if you have hair you're like me you're bald doesn't matter but i just don't like wearing them anymore because they get hot so let's get rid of these the next thing people do when they run into that situation is they'll pop in a set of airpods or airbuds or samsung buds or google buds or cheap amazon knockoff buds whatever they do this this is a bad look, especially for live streams. Your Zoom calls, do what you want. But in the live stream, do not depend on wireless anything. So wireless headphones, not necessarily a good look because the Bluetooth can disconnect and just mess up your whole stream or worse yet, they can add interference to certain microphones and cables. So let's not use these. These are great for jogging, great for the gym, not so much for your live streams. So what do you do? If you go to a concert or you watch your people on the news or your FBI agent, they all have in-ear monitors. What is an in-ear monitor? It's something that looks a little bit like this. It's in your ear. There's a cable that goes over the back. And when you're live streaming, when I'm looking forward, you can't really tell I have them on. Now, if you have hair, you absolutely can't tell you have them on. Now, in-ear monitors can get extremely expensive. Whether you're looking at something like the Edomotix or the Shore, some of these in-ear monitors can get extremely expensive. But lucky for you, there is a fantastic burgeoning community around something known as Budget Fi or Budget Hi-Fi. These companies are putting out incredible sounding, incredible comfort in-ear monitors that are made for not only musicians, but live streamers. So let me show you some of the best ones on the industry today. Many of these you've seen every single time in the live stream. Some of you guys don't even realize I'm wearing them. Let's take a quick look. I'm gonna pop over real quick and I'm gonna show you the most common one in the industry. And these are the Mi Audio M6. They're sweat proof, sports headphones. They were kind of designed for the gym and the jogging. And these are extremely popular. I bought these last year. I like them, they sound fantastic. But for me, the cord is a little bit strong and fiddly. And the other part is the cord is extremely short. I'm gonna to have to take this apart and put it back later because it just doesn't go back in the case too easy, but it does come with a nice case, extremely popular. And probably the primary reason why everyone loves these is well, they're 16 bucks. For 16 bucks, you can't go wrong. The model here on the screen is clear. They come in black, they come in gray, and they're extremely popular again because well, they're extremely cheap. And I would say if you're going to buy those, buy two sets because in case one fails, you have a backup. Now let's jump into the next set. I want to show you, these are my KZ ZSM Pros. Also extremely comfortable. They sound fantastic. I wear these all the time. I have upgraded the tips to what is known as a spin fit. This is what a spin fit tip looks like. It's a little bit more comfortable. And so the advantage to these is they flex when you put them in your ear. It allows for just a little tiny bit more comfort when you place it in the ear. It just fits better. It sits better. It doesn't hurt. I can wear these for hours. You guys know I've done five hour streams. Thank you, Diana Gladney. No problem with my headset. They also don't pop out very much. So these are very good. The KZ ZSM Pros, they come in at a whopping $21. If you want to add a microphone, that'll jump to 25. I just love them. And again, for the price, you can't go wrong. The next set and what you see me wear just about every single day in every stream are these. These are the CCA CA4s. Yes, I understand the companies in their names. I didn't make it up. I just come and teach about it. So the CCA CA4s will set you back 20 bucks. And again, it's the same one dynamic driver, one balance armature, no microphone if you want, microphone if you want, which is good if you decide to take them out when you're not streaming and use them on your iPhone or something. That's the reason why you would get the mic, but these are incredible. And again, if, if you're watching this and you're not a live streamer, you just want something for your Zoom calls, get the one with the mic. Let's dive into the next one. Again, those CCA4s will set you back a $20, not too bad. Now these are the KB Ear Lark 
similar design and everything but they just got a little extra something like a little extra class now these i didn't buy these were sent to me by lark they're you know they didn't ask me to make a review i just i won these in an instagram contest actually but here's what i like about these look at how beautiful they are and it comes in lgl purple that was automatically a win so what i've noticed so far as i've been playing with these is they're a little bit more comfortable why because they came with silicone tips whereas most of the other ones will come with rubber tips and with the silicone tips they're just naturally a little bit more comfortable now they're not as swank as the spin fit tips but they're relatively comfortable no matter what the other thing about all of the three headphones that i've mentioned so far is they come with really nice comfortable cords these are not as wiry not as fiddly it's way softer as a matter of fact i've been wearing this one on my neck for so long and you see there's no memory I mean, there's no like twirl it just sits and it fits so what's great about that is when you plug your headphones in and you put them on you can throw it behind your neck and no one will ever see the wire i kind of leave my wires hanging in front and i'll show you why in a bit one thing you'll notice you're like wait a minute these don't come with a wire here's what's so cool about these headphones you can change the cord and that allows you to upgrade the cord when you find a better cord or if you break a cord, say you accidentally rolled the office chair over one, you don't have to worry about getting rid of the headset and buying a new one. You just gotta make sure you put it on the right direction. So this is why I love these so much because you can just pop it in the ear like such, pop the other one in like such, and you're good to go. If I take the cord, throw it behind my jacket and not get it stuck on my hoodie, I have my headphones in, you barely even notice. They look great on camera, they're super comfortable. And I didn't even mention the fact that as crazy as it is, as cheap as these are, they sound fan freaking tastic. They sound so good. Are they gonna be as good as Etymotics or Shores? No, but your Shores, your Etymotics will set you back 250 to 500 bucks, depending on which one you get. So that's where the budget guys come in, save you a lot of money. And the KB ear, let me show you the price on these real quick. They're a little bit more, but they come a little bit more swanky. The KB ears will set you back roughly 30 bucks. Again, extremely comfortable. They come with better tips. And honestly, they sound a little bit better, but it just depends on you. Get in where you fit in. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you, and when I was mentioning about the cords, now that I am using these Larks as my daily drivers for my iPhone, for listening to music and podcasts, Here's what's cool. I bought this really, really nice extra weight. This is known as an eight core cord. It's very soft and velvety, has a much thicker connector, and this gives you a better sound. Why thicker cord, more cores, more cable, more signal, more signal, all of that stuff equals to better sound. Let me show you what we're talking about. This is that cord here. The cord will set you back another 30 bucks, but again, all in total, 60 bucks, it's still gonna sound better than some of the stuff that you'll buy out there that will cost you three, four, five times the price. So if you're into the budget core or you want something like this beautiful swanky silver cable, which will only set you back 19 bucks, a lot of the guys in my community have bought these on my recommendations. So if you don't believe me, I'll get them to come in the comments and let you know that one looks a little bit like such. Again, just depends on you know what you wear. I like being able to change the color of my cords depending on what I'm wearing if I wanna make the cord less visible. Since I normally wear black or dark clothes, I tend to use this cord. It's far more comfortable. But gang, honestly, you cannot go wrong with in-ear monitors that will set you back less than 50 bucks, extremely comfortable and sound fantastic. Now, what I want you to do is go get yourself a set, come back in the comments and let me know. Or what are you using to monitor your shows or your live streams or your Zoom calls, whatever. If you like this video, please press the subscribe button, ring the bell so you can know whenever I make another video and watch the video that's coming up on screen next.